Hello, I made this script in Python for uh, Maya and uh, it's to help with the production of Spline IK. Um, it helps automate the rigs and uh, gives you some editing functions to uh, speed up uh, the creation of them. Uh, so I've put this video together to uh, run through um, what it does. Uh, so to start off, We'll give it a unique name and something that might use spline ik is say something like rope and underneath we have the length of the template spline uh, which is also the amount of joints um, and we can assign a number of controls so let's say 10 um, and then it creates this template which is 10 controls over uh, a length of 40 um, and there are some other functions here, which means we can um, assign uh, an axis for the controls to face, uh, should you want them to face in a different uh, direction, um, such as X, Y, and Z. Uh, and you can also uh, create the template in uh, different axes as well, like so. Uh, but for now, um, going to stick with uh, X and I'm going to uh, create a template spline of 30 with five controls. Also uh, you can see that the uh, the curve is very linear uh, so change the behavior of that curve by uh, selecting a different curve type and this will uh, create uh, a more kind of conventional curve which gives you a, a shape that you might uh, associate more with something like uh, rope or something or whatever else uses spline ok so uh, oh, you can also delete the template and uh, create it again uh, should you should you need to um, so once once that's done and in position I've already got a mesh here that I'm going to um, that I'm going to rig. Uh, just press create rig, and uh, very quickly I'm going to um, bind this mesh to the bind joints. Apply and quickly test that that's worked by um, by uh, applying some values to the FK controls and that looks like it's worked properly. Um, we can't actually see the FK controls so well so I'm going to apply a, a scale value to the control shapes and uh, now I can see them a bit better. Maybe they're a bit too big so take those down a little bit like that. Uh, and now I'm just going to move the FK controls into quite a nice sort of unique shape uh, very quickly and uh, get a bit of sort of twist and translation in there and take them off, off the origin as well as the controls there. Maybe one more bend in there like that. Cool. Um, and uh, for the sake of uh, visibility, um, I've left the um, spline IK joints visible there. So if, if I switch to IK now, uh, you can see that the mesh or the bind joints have, have switched to where the um, IK joints are. If I switch back, that's where the FK joints are. And now if I press match IK to FK, you can see that it's seamlessly um, snapped the IK joints to where the FK joints were. And uh, yeah, that, that works pretty well, I think. Um, there are some other functions. If I uh, select the, um, if I select the main control, you've got length there, which means you can uh, assign a length to the IK. And uh, 
you can then uh, match the FK to where the IK is. Um, so so that works well as <laughs> that also works well. So I can reset the FK controls and then reset the IK controls. Uh, select the main control and uh, put the length back to one to get us back to where we started. Um, and um, yeah, uh, if if you're uh, happy with uh, with that, then happy days. Uh, or if not, I can press delete rig, and um, that will uh, take us back to um, uh, our template. And uh, you can go again and um, plot out, uh, put it in another value, say eight controls, forty in length and uh, create that template like that. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's basically my, uh, my tool. And uh, if, you, uh, if you made it this far in this video, <laughs> thanks for sticking with it. Cheers.